everybody and welcome back to the Mind Catchers channel. Today I'm going to be using a new palette to me. This is from Glam Light Cosmetics. It's 15 eyeshadows inside and this is in collaboration with an influencer named Alondra Desi. I'm not very familiar with her, but she has a very large following on Instagram. I'm not sure about uh, YouTube, but she does have a huge following on Instagram. Uh, they came out with a fall palette, or at least the shades remind me of fall. And this palette is actually uh, in the Slay Glam box for the month of September. I do have a video on the Slay Glam box and I'll link it right up here. So you can check out that box. It is a subscription service. I do have a 10% off code. I'll leave that down below as well. So I've already primed my eyes. I use my Urban Decay Primer Potion. And I also apply some concealer on my eyes. I use the CoverGirl True Blend Undercover Concealer and it has become one of my go-to concealers. It's nice and thick but not too thick and it really prepped my eyes well so I'm loving that. On the top of my brows I used, I kind of mixed the two shades. I have a bronze, that's the lighter shade and then Espresso is the darker shade. I mixed the two and did the top of my brows with that. So that's what you're seeing right here. Right now, what I'm going to do is just start applying some of these shadows. I think I'm gonna play around with two of these shadows in the palette. Let's just see how this goes. Maybe three, maybe three, let's see. Uh, we're gonna go into the shade Boss Babe. And that's the shade right there. And I'm going to bring you guys in a little bit closer. Okay, so in my transition area, I think I'm going to stamp that color there. And this brush I'm using is a medium sweeper brush. This is the E54 by Sigma. I am a Sigma affiliate, so if you're looking for some brushes and you want 10% off, I'll have that link down below as well. I'm gonna take a blending brush and just go around that and just kind of go in tiny little circular motions and try to blend out that outer edge. I'm gonna use a little bit of my face powder. I don't wanna go too much deeper, but I'm gonna use that right there in my brow bone area. Yeah. So that kind of helps blend it out as well. The next shade we're gonna use in the palette is called Espresso. And there it is right there. And we're going to apply that in our outer corner. I have it in my outer corner, but I did sweep it into the crease a bit. we're going to pick up a little concealer and we're going to do a light cut crease and just apply the color Jalisco in the inner corner. So let's do that. And the color Jalisco is right there. Okay, so we're just going to get a flat shader brush and just pat that on the lid. I'm gonna bring that brown over to meet up with that shade. And you know, this brown is not really brown. It's more like a, I don't know, like a deep burgundy or something. Compared to the other colors in the palette, it looks brown, but when you apply it to your lid, it looks like a deep burgundy. We're gonna apply a small wing and I have um, my liner. This is from, oh, it's called Blacklist and it's from 
Uh, I'm drawing a blank here. I'll write it down in the description box. Had a little bit of a mishap. Honestly, I didn't want to go that thick with the liner. But I had a little bit of a mishap and had to make it a little thicker than usual. I'm going to go ahead and do the other eye and I'll be right back. Alright guys, that's what we're looking like so far. I'm going to go ahead and use my Perversion Mascara. And I'm going to add a lash. So we're going to allow the mascara to dry and then add the lash. All right, guys, so those are your lids. I'm going to add a little bit of shadow down here in my bottom lash line. So I'm just going to use that shade Espresso. I'm going to put a little liner here in my waterline. It doesn't matter if it gets on the lash line. We want it nice and smudgy. We're going to put this on the bottom lashes. I think it's a great mascara for the price. All right, guys, so those are your completed eyes. I'm going to go ahead and do something to my face, just my normal foundation routine, and then I'm going to come back with the lips, so stay tuned. All right, guys, so I'm using the shade Pitch from ColourPop, and they discontinued a lot of colors, but they do have a lot of similar colors. So I'm sure you could find a very dark brown. And I'm going to use this shade by a company called My Girl's Room. It's right there. And this shade is called Undressed. And this liquid lipstick is from a black owned company. Uh, it's for a great cause. So I'm going to leave the information down below so you can check her out. Again, that's my girl's room and that's unzipped. I'm just going to put a gloss over the top. I've been loving gloss lately, just a clear gloss. I think that's a pretty like neutral nude shade. Very, very pretty. Okay, inside the eyeshadow palette, I think I want to pop something in the inner corner. Let's see if we like this shade Lit right here. It looks like a white, but when you blend it out, it's more gold. Let's pop that in the inner corner. Oh, that's pretty. Very, very pretty. All right, friends, so that is your completed uh, face. I think it's very, very pretty. It looks so smooth, so flawless. Let's put on our Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. All right, guys, so these are your completed eyes. And I did open up a window, so we have some natural sunlight coming in. That's what they look like. I think that the palette is beautiful. Uh, you can do lots of fall looks with that palette. You can do some neutral looks. I tried to go neutral and then I went a little bit overboard as usual. But you can get some beautiful looks out of that palette. Okay, so let's back you guys out. All right, guys, so this is your completed look. I'm going to have some nice up close visuals for you guys. Uh, we were using the Alondra Desi Glam Light Cosmetics Collaboration Palette. It's a very nice palette. I did add a little sparkle in the inner corner and everything, and that sparkle is beautiful. I'm wondering what it would look like in the center of the lid or all over the lid. You can do so much with 15 different shades. So um, I think they did a great job. The um, formula or the pigmentation is pretty decent. So I really appreciate you guys hanging out with me today. Cyber kisses.
Be sure to check out my Slay Glam Box unboxing because that's what this palette was inside of. And I don't want you to miss the other goodies that was in that box, all right? Talk to you next time. Bye.